Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on the Stellar Highway. My name is Motormind and I will be your host today. This is Avengers number one. This is part of Marvel's new fresh start thing that they're doing. Uh, new team, new creative team, uh, new heroes on the team. This is by Jason Aaron, Ed McGinnis, Mark Morales, and David Curell. Not sure I'm saying that last one right. But uh, yeah, basically this is a big team, uh, but it has kind of a nice, interesting setup. We've got uh, sort of a supernatural hero and Ghost Rider. Uh, we've got Iron Man, Cap, Thor, Captain Marvel, She-Hulk, Doctor Strange back there, Black Panther. So yeah, big team, a lot of heavy hitters, big players. But uh, the book opens up kind of unexpectedly. Uh, I don't know anything about these guys, really. This is the BC Avengers. Uh, I guess they were in like a short event or a short miniseries a couple of summers ago. Um, but basically you have like the original Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, I want to say his name is Amagato, but uh, not sure on that. Uh, you've got Ghost Rider. Uh, I believe he rides like a bison or uh, like a, a mammoth or something like that. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, Starbrand, he's like our Hulk. Um, and I want to say there's more to the Starbrand, but I don't know its history. Uh, Iron Fist. Um, this is Black Panther, of course. Uh, Phoenix and Odin himself. Uh, so good stuff. I mean, basically they are partying hard because they're going up against something and it's almost like certain doom. So uh, they're basically just kind of saying their goodbyes and whatnot and Thor's having the ale and good stuff like that. That's our Odin. <laughs> he said Thor out of habit, but basically um, he gives like a cool little speech about, uh, you know, I guess him and the Phoenix are lovers. And so they, they kind of have like a little, a bit here. He's like bragging and boasting and saying he'll fight until he's nothing but bones and thunder. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, so basically here we go. Ghost Rider on the mammoth. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, um, they are headed, a, you know, into certain death against these guys, which are celestials. Um, but, uh, they, uh, you know, they say, you know, the cost of failure is the death of the world and stuff like that. So apparently they were victorious, but, um, kind of leaves you hanging on that note and title page, not sure a double page is necessary, but there we go. Uh, so basically, uh, it comes back to modern day and we've got Thor, he's back, Tony, he's back, Steve, he's back. Um, but yeah, they, uh, they're kind of, you know, reuniting, kind of having like a, kind of a reunion here. Um, and, uh, you know, Steve's suggesting, you know, the Avengers need to exist again, you know, as, you know, in their, you know, most classic incarnation and stuff. Um, Tony's kind of like, ah, what a hassle, you know, uh, he's not really resisting, but he's just like giving them a hard time and sort of kind of kind of fun <laughs> his perspective on it's kind of kind of fun uh but uh uh also thor just like odin a few pages ago is just all he's all about it he's like you know he's ready to do it he's ready to throw down and protect protect the world but uh yeah basically uh they uh um <clears throat> their meeting or their reunion here is interrupted by this uh you know, message that Tony gets, you know, there's all these incredible energy readings and space and good stuff like that. So it looks like they're going to have to hop into action. We cut away to uh, Black Panther and Doctor Strange, and they're a few miles beneath South Africa. And they found these, like, catacombs. Um, and basically they've, you know, there's these archaeologists have, you know, gone in and never come back out. They find these hieroglyphics. Uh, Strange is finding magic, old magic things that are alive. Um, pretty good stuff. And they just keep delving deeper into the cave. Um, and then we cut away to Robbie Reyes. Um, he is, uh, you know, kind of one of the ghost riders. I, don't, I believe there's a couple of ghost riders at the moment, or at least Johnny Blaze is back with his cycle. And we also have Robbie. Um, but yeah, he's got his little introduction here and it's, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, then we get introduced to She-Hulk. This is, um, definitely the weakest part of the book. I mean, it's a single page, but definitely, definitely doesn't 
fit with the coolness of the other introductions, but yeah, she's basically just gets harassed by some dudes. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we cut away from the introduction of Robbie and She-Hulk, um, to, uh, Captain Marvel. And apparently this is her deal right now. I don't know much about Captain Marvel, but apparently she kind of babysits this wormhole with this Alpha Flight, um organization uh and yeah she's seeing these energy readings that tony is seeing on the ground um and they find out you know it's celestials and they're kind of being like teleported uh through this you know grid that she protects um so steve and the other guys kind of go into action meanwhile uh below the surface of the planet strange and black panther have found these crazy like breeding grounds basically these eggs uh pretty nice artwork nice sense of scale and stuff i mean i feel like there's quite a few of these things ready to hatch but yeah switches to robbie again briefly and then you know the hatchlings these little whatever might be growing there kind of burst through the ground they attack uh, he goes you know goes full ghost rider um yeah good stuff uh you know uh basically the rest of this is revealing that the celestials that are coming through the teleporter uh are not like attacking or not even alive they're actually dead celestials just like crashing to earth um so they're so huge they're just these hugely powerful beings um that have been around a long time but yeah they're basically like just obliterating different places on the planet um just like falling to earth dead so you know the question becomes you know these are celestials they're super kind of mysterious cosmic type beings you know maybe even bigger than cosmic they're on the power scale that you know they don't really deal with very often um you know outside of a few little events and stuff but but yeah so basically the uh something called the infernal host shows up um i guess these are kind of like evil celestials um not really clear if the celestials are all bad all good um don't know a ton about them beyond just quick read online but but yeah i don't want to show everything but basically at the end uh you know the uh avengers are assembled has to happen good stuff uh, great artwork. I like the artwork. Nice classic. Not too stylized, you know, not too stiff. Uh, good stuff. Just good looking stuff. I really like um, everything the artist has done in this with the sense of scale and everything. The, you know, celestial, you know, crashing into the pier and stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, you know, um, I like the stakes. It seems like the stakes are very high. Seems like this is, you know, what ended the bc avengers so it'll be kind of cool to see the modern day avengers that we know and uh take it on take on a threat like that but uh yeah you know i don't know this creative team i don't know jason aaron or uh you know the uh ed mcginnis and this is a a team i don't know much about but yeah this is good stuff high quality uh commands a high price this is a five dollar book so i guess it's kind of to be expected as a avengers number one book in this fresh start deal that they're doing i guess you know they want some money i guess it's to be expected but uh it is an easy recommend it is cool um it is pretty exciting uh there's not a lot of fighting per se but there is a lot of excitement and mystery and set uh set up here that you know man you know i'm definitely buying issue two kind of see where this goes i could see this being a nice big event um yeah yeah this is this is a pretty easy recommend i don't um unless you just like hate this lineup which seems pretty impossible because there's a little something here for everybody um i'm finding it hard not to see anyone disliking this uh you know there's not a lot of like actual like fisticuffs or energy blasts or anything like that but i mean this has everything you need this is a great setup uh good stuff high quality um this is not like 
cheap, goofy, cash-in, archy style, minimalist art. This is good stuff, good stuff. This is what you expect when you pick up an Avengers book, when you pick up an epic Marvel comic book. I definitely recommend that. I uh, recommend this book. Um, and if you enjoyed it, comment below. Let me know who is your favorite team member. Uh, let me know where you think this is going. Drop everything you know about the Celestials in the comments so I can catch up. Uh, let me know who the BC Avengers are because, uh, again, I don't know who those guys are at all. So, But, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. Click the bell. I do plan to upload content regularly for you guys. And thanks for joining us on the Stellar Highway.